Okay. Um, the only reason I wanted to do this is because, um, WrestleMania. Not the PCW WrestleMania, the real WrestleMania. 25 is coming to Houston, Texas, and it's coming in a few days, so I just wanted to get started on the WrestleMania predictions early today. So, there's only one match, so it's going to be a short video. The Money in the Bank ladder match. Now, how this works, for those who don't know, there is eight superstars from Raw, SmackDown, ECW, eight superstars representing the brands. So, example, two ECW superstars, two Raw superstars, and six SmackDown superstars, for example. Anyway, the only man who so far is qualified in a Money in the Bank letter match which also go also for those who don't know, the only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase from above the ring. That contract that briefcase is holding a contract which that the winner can cash in for a world for a WWE championship shot, a world heavyweight championship shot, or an ECW championship shot within one year at next year's WrestleMania. Which means he can cash it in until WrestleMania 26. Anyway, the only man who has qualified so far is the Intercontinental Champion and might I add, the man who won Money in the Bank last year, CM Punk. So, Punk, let me think for Punk. Uh, he's won the world championship before, and he's the Intercontinental Champion going into the WrestleMania. So, Punk has gone full circle. And I'm not saying he he won't win. He has a great chance of winning. He has, he has experience in this kind of match. But, I really don't see him winning winning the match two years in a row, so... All CM Punk fans, I apologize. Uh, he's... I don't think he's going to win, but... He has a good chance, though. So... This has been the WrestleMania Predictions... Episode 1. Signing off right now.